Hello 110B students and welcome to our first flipped classroom. Today we're going to review non-progressive verbs and if you want more information you can look in your Azar grammar books at chapter 2-3 which is on page 16. So first of all I'd like you to take a look at these sentences 1 through 6 and try to figure out which sentences are incorrect. You might want to pause the video while you think about it because I'm going to tell you the answer in just a moment. Okay, so if you said that the one sentence that is incorrect is, I am knowing that man, then you are correct. This one is wrong. Okay. And the reason it's wrong, we're going to talk about in just a moment. So let's come down here to the big idea. Some verbs, for example, like no, are non-progressive verbs. This means that they are almost never used in progressive tenses. And what we mean by progressive tenses is ing. The main verb is an ing. For example, I am taking, he is helping, they have been training, like this. That's why we can say, I appreciate your help, but we cannot say, I am appreciating your help. We cannot say this ing form. That's why we can say, I believed he was my father, but you cannot say, I have been believing he was my father. Okay. So for these verbs that are non-progressive, we're always going to use the simple forms, either simple present or simple past, for example. Here are some other verbs that are almost always non-progressive, that don't use ing. And I've also given you some categories to try and remember them by. For example, like, dislike, hate, and fear, these are all feelings know, believe, remember, and understand. These are all mental states or something that our mind does. And finally, belong, own, and possess. These all have to do with possession or ownership. So you can try to group the verbs into categories and remember them in that way that they're non-progressive. Okay. Here's the tricky part for many students is that some verbs have both progressive and also non-progressive meanings. Okay? So we can have a non-progressive meaning like the first one. You look tired. Has anyone ever told you you look tired? Right? But we can also have a progressive meaning of this verb look by saying, I am looking out the window. Right? So for example, you look tired. Maybe you look like this boy right here. Maybe during midterm or final exams. And for this woman, we can see that she is looking out of the window. Okay? I always try to think about progressive. When we have a progressive meaning, you can actually act out that verb. We can see it happening. Okay? Let's look down at the second one. I think Jessica is a great teacher. Can you show me how to think? that somebody is a great teacher? Not really, right? Um, but we can show someone is thinking about another person. I'm thinking about my grandmother, right? So which of these pictures do you think shows I am thinking about my grandmother? Probably the one with the thought bubble, right? Okay, a couple more examples. Have is another verb that is both progressive and non-progressive. We can say, I have a dog. And we can also say, I am having a good time. Right? Down here, we can see the possession of the woman who has a dog. She owns the dog. And over here, we can see that the teenagers are having a good time. In other words, they're having a good experience at this moment. It's temporary. She probably has this dog forever, or for a long time at least. The last example is, this sandwich smells bad, right? This sandwich smells bad. And we can also say, I am smelling the flowers, right? 
So again, we can imagine a person smelling flowers, doing the action, acting it out. Maybe like these two cute orangutans, they are smelling the flowers. But it's more difficult to act out. The sandwich smells bad, right? It's difficult to act out the verb of smells bad. Okay. So now I'd like you to try. Um, I have some sentences below. Please take a look and you can use the chart on page 16 to help you if you need it. Um, try to choose the best answer. So we'll do one for free and then you can do the other on your own. The first one says, this isn't my notebook. It beep to Laura. Should we say it belongs to Laura or it is belonging? Take a minute to think about it. I'm going to tell you the answer in just a moment. All right, so if you said it belongs to Laura, you are correct. Right? Remember that if we go up to here to our rules, belong shows possession, right? And possession, of verbs of possession are usually non-progressive, almost always non-progressive. Go ahead and try the others on your own. And in just a moment, I'm going to give you the answers. So please stop or pause the video while you think about it. Okay, so here are the answers. Ask Ahmed for your dictionary. He has it. You should call your brother. He is having a difficult time at college. And lastly, relax. You don't have to tell me any more about it. I believe you. Okay. Want more practice? Check out page 16 to 19 in Azar. The answers are in the back of your book, so you can check them there. You can also shoot me a message on Canvas to ask me questions or come to my office hours and I can go over them with you. Thanks for listening and see you in the next flipped classroom.